Hey, this is a build video for a myoelectric robotic arm. Myoelectric meaning it responds to your muscle movement. That means you flex, the arm bends. Before we get into the build, let's go over how it works. This is an Arduino, which takes electrical signals from the myoelectric sensor, which is attached to the bicep, and by using this relay board, tells the arm whether it should bend or extend. Alright, so let's get started on the build. This is the linear actuator. When a voltage is put across the leads, the stroke extends. When we switch the polarity, the stroke retracts. Let's look quickly at how it works. A motor spins this gear at a high RPM below torque. This gear train reduces the speed, bumps up the torque, and drives a threaded bolt to screw in and out, which moves our stroke. I constructed the bones of this arm out of wood for these preliminary stages. This will be replaced by steel later. I've attached two brackets to the work and made a makeshift hinge with some scrap metal. This is what the construction looks like after attaching the actuator onto the arm. When connected to our 12 volt DC power source, the arm extends. If we switch the polarity, the arm bends. Now, we want to be able to control when the arm extends or contracts, so to do this we'll be using an Arduino and some relays. Relays are switches that can be turned on and off digitally. We're going to be using four of them arranged as they are in this diagram, since we want to be able to switch polarity to extend or retract the arm. On the left we have a battery, and on the right we have the actuator. We can program the Arduino to open switches 1 and 4 if we want the actuator to retract, and open 2 and 3 if we want it to extend. To attach a wire to the relay, simply unscrew the top of the clamp, insert the wire, and tighten. I repeat this to wire the relays as shown in the diagram. I want to test the myoelectric sensor, so here I'm attaching electrodes to my bicep. Two are placed along the engaged muscle, while a third is placed on a neutral muscle. The sensor reads out a value between 0 and 1023 depending on the voltage going through the muscle. For this test, I have programmed the arm to contract when the muscle is flexed, and extend when the muscle is relaxed. The test is successful, the arm bends when the muscle is flexed and extends when it's not. As you can see in the footage, the extension is super slow. This is because some of the initial tests were done with a different actuator. Our electronics are working, but they look horrendous. We want to reduce this to this. I'm replacing the Arduino Uno with an Arduino Mini. It is much more compact, yet still retains all the functionality we need. As you can see, I've already gotten started soldering on the I.O. pins. This is the board of four relays. These are a little different than the ones I was prototyping with, as they have the option for a default closed circuit. I will not be using this function. I finished soldering the I.O. pins onto the Arduino, and a quick test shows it's working. When the muscle is flexed, the rightmost light turns on, and when it's relaxed, the leftmost light turns on. I don't want a bunch of loose wires, so I'm going to wire these as compactly as I can. I've sketched out which wires go where, and I'm now soldering I.O. pins onto pieces of insulated copper wire, and affixing them to the relays. The actuator runs on 12 volts, but the Arduino runs on 5. I don't want to have to use two different batteries, so instead I will be using a 12 volt to 5 volt converter from a car phone charger. After oh so carefully removing the metal from the USB port, I exposed the four interior leads and labeled negative and positive, or ground and VCC. The other leads are for information transfer, which isn't relevant for this project. I soldered some IO pins onto the converter so that it's easier to attach wires onto. I hooked the converter up to 12 volts, seen here, and the multimeter reads an output of 5. A quick test with the converter attached to the Arduino is successful. As is a test with the myoelectric sensor. Time to see what this thing can curl. I'm starting out with this stapler, which weighs about one pound. Now two and a half pounds. Now four pounds. Six pounds. Eight pounds. 
10 and a half. 10 and a half with a stronger string. 12 pounds. And finally it stalls out at 13 and a half pounds. It just failed out at 13.5 pounds, but lifted 12 without complaint. I spent some time in the machine shop replacing the wooden structure with steel. To connect the parts, I'm just putting a pin through the hinge. Now I attach the brackets. and test out the arm. Alright, time to put everything together. I've attached some foam core to affix all the electronics onto the arm. Here we can see the arm correctly responding to the sensor. Here's a view from the back. And a view from the other side. Now that everything's up and running, I've clamped the arm onto a stand to see it perform like a real arm and it's pretty freaking cool. And that's the build for the myoelectric arm. So in this test, I'm actually not powering the Arduino with the 5 volt converter. I'm powering it with a USB cable. Uh, this is because of some extra steps I took in the build, which I didn't include in the video, but I'll put here at the end. So enjoy. Try attaching the battery to the converter to your Arduino. Realize you mislabeled the terminals and destroy the Arduino by hitting the VCC with 12 volts. Blame the Arduino and try it again. Break a second Arduino. Blame it on the 5 volt converter. Solder a new one without fixing the terminal mistake. Consequently destroy another Arduino. Realize the issue and solder a third converter. Destroy an Arduino by mixing up polarity. Destroy another Arduino because your 12 volt battery is actually more like 14 volts. Learn about raw input and attempt to run 14 volts directly to the Arduino. Blame the Arduino and try it on a slightly different Arduino. Destroy that Arduino, but then be confused as to why an Arduino you already broke seems to work fine with 14 volts to raw. Decide you know nothing about Arduinos or electronics and continue the project running the Arduino via USB. So, there you go. Thanks for watching.